Hello everyone, my name is Faith Motegi and this is my platform, Parenting Conundrums. Today's topic is about taking that scary step and addressing your mental health issues. It is not wrong to seek for help. It is one of the best things that you can do for yourself and for your child. And it can be for at any age. Yes, we have play therapists for the little ones. Um, yes, you look for. We are not that many, but we are growing. But generally, right now, you can access therapy or counseling services or mental health services for yourself or for your children or even for those who are close to you. But I wanted to address this uh, this this fear. There's this fear and um, misinformation about counseling or what therapy is. Yes, how it was introduced to the Kenyan society is through the mental health institutions whereby you have mental health disorders. So that is how you were introduced to it. And then also I came to matters of crisis. When there were school fires, I believe there was something to do with Bombolulu, a uh, fire tragedy. So most of the times, whenever counseling comes into place, or you hear the word counseling, people have either something has, there's something, there's a mental health disorder, or you're going through an immense crisis. It can be an accident, it can be now like the, the fire or whatever crisis, like a major, major impact in your life. But ladies and gentlemen, yes, and boys and girls, we are all boys and girls of someone. <laughs> Long story short. Um... Please, if there's something that can help you figure your life out is seeking mental health services. And this scary aspect of what will other people think of me, what will other people think of me taking my child for therapy, please just look at the aspect of could, asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It is one of the bravest things that you can ever do for yourself. Why? It's because you reach to a corner or a junction, is it a T-junction or whatever those road signs are, and you realize that for me to move on, I need a GPS, I need a map, I need to ask somebody to give me direction or to help me figure things out. That's how therapy comes into place. You are not being weak. We are all weak. And let me put even a disclaimer, even us as counselors, we also go for our own therapy. So we are not saying that we are perfect. We are not coming to uh, having a microscope into your life and a magnifying glass and saying these are the mistakes you should have. Yes, if that arises, it's to create insight, but it's not to judge you. And one of the best things about therapy is you're coming to me, a stranger, and you come and offload. You talk. If you want to cry, come and cry. If you want to just vent, come and vent in a safe space without harming yourself or harming somebody else. And then after you are gone, after you leave the office or wherever we have met, you go on with life and you, you are not seeing me who you have poured all your secrets to in other social events. Let me put it in context. You may share or you may have shared something very personal to you, to someone close that and you are seeking for help, someone to understand you. And then you, whatever you have shared with that person is, is about somebody else. And then you see that person talking to the somebody else. What goes through your mind? Most probably you think that they are, go, they are letting them know what I said, like backbiting, stabbing in the back and all that. Now, when you come to a counselor, to a therapist, we are not in the same social circles. If that happens, because yes, the world is a, is, is a village, is a size of a ball camp, we, the discretion is there and confidentiality is assured. So there's a safe space in coming to somebody who is not within your social circles. So when it comes to therapy, I want to, I'm curious to find out what, why, what makes you not seek for help? What what is this thing that you have had? What is this thing you have experienced concerning therapy that makes you not want to go for it? Yes, we could be scared of the unknown, but my dear friends, the unknown is always going to be there with us. So when it comes to how I look at counseling is 
you have many jigsaw puzzles. Like there are so many areas in your life. There's career, there's relationships, there's parenting, there's all that. Everything is there. And it's just you. You as an individual, you're trying to hold everything up. But just the same way you have a jigsaw puzzle, yes, it looks all confused when they're not mixed. But if you start putting the corner pieces aside and then you put them together, where some of them don't fit, you realize, oh, by the way, there are some things that don't fit. So you look for the part that fits. And just in case there's a part that you need to get rid of or to put aside for a period of time and figure other things out because you can't handle everything at once. Work-life balance doesn't, we, we never get... You, your life will never be balanced. There'll be something that thrives. There'll be something that is holding on, uh, that is that is just right, and then there's something that is holding on. So my 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 request to you is: there's an issue that is bothering you. It could be about your child. It could be yes about the bedwetting that I've talked about. It could be this addiction to TVs. It could be that they are they are no longer talking to you. They are in their teenage phase. Maybe it's the, the relationships. It could be that they have been sent by the school to have therapy sessions. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, if the school sends you four, if, if the child is told to come for therapy, let them go for at least three to five sessions. Yes, I know there's the aspect of you want to send them, but no sooner do you. Please ask around. Let that child, yes, you trust your child. But let me put it this way. You don't know everything about a child. And having your child going for therapy is not a sign that you are a bad parent, that you have failed. You haven't. And I always say, please give yourself a hug like this and tell yourself that there is no manual. There are so many manuals and this is like one of them. But raising another human being, you, you yourself, you're complicated. So... Yes, I want you to trust your child, but can you, your child will never tell you everything. So if there's something that has happened in school, let them, and they are told to go for therapy. If there's something that is bothering you, and please just try and release them to someone you can trust. And if you have been hurt before by a counselor, I apologize, I am sorry. But please, if you need to seek for counseling, you don't have to stick with one therapist. It's just the same way about friends and life. We don't all agree. So ask around and then you can have that first session. If you rhyme, if you, you, you realize that by the way you're gelling, there's something you can connect with that counselor, then you move on. If there's something amiss, then you step away and move to somebody else. But if you're not ready to come to a counselor because life happens, finances are down and all that, please stop thinking, every, stop this, this department, I call it the space between your ears, the brain. We have body parts that we can replace. If it's a finger, you can do it without. We, we, can, we have the kidney transplants, we have transplants. But once your brain is gone, your mind is gone, you're not getting it back. So this is a pressure cooker. And as pressure cookers are, if you re don't release that pressure, pole, pole, slowly, at one point it will explode. And that's when now you will, your child does something so minor or something, and then you explode. This is why we are hearing of these cases on television or on the media, whereby you're hearing these cases of murder, violence, domestic violence, and so many cases, and you're wondering, oh, this person was, this person was so cool, this person was so, how could they, and did they know? It's because at one point, they kept pushing it down, pushing it down to the point now, pressure builds up, and they explode. And that explosion comes in so many different ways. So, even as I keep talking about this, my, my takeaway right now, even though you're not able to get to a counselor, you're not able to, because of the finances, because of distance, because of all those time aspects, take up a, a piece of paper, have a notebook, and offload everything that you have. Whatever is bothering you about life, 
whether it is the dishwashing powder or soap that you use and you're wondering whether whether it's making your your skin bad whether it's about your hair receding hairline and forehead manenos if it is about a debt if it is about the the, the what the rejection you got when you're a child the loss and grief the future that seems so uncertain whatever it is with in no particular order, it's called madogodanio. That discombobulation, all those big words and small words at the same time. Get a piece of paper and write everything down that is bothering you. Finances, relationships, career, this coron this 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 pandemic issues. Write it down and then put them in two categories. What can I what can I control and what can't I control? Those two. The ones that you can't control, you give them to the Lord. You surrender them. You say, okay, these ones, they are by God's regrets. You're, you're not, you're not an 18 year old anymore. You are, your mom is there. Your dad is there. They are not there. Whatever the case, there are some situations that terms and conditions, they are done. You can't control them. Put them in one category and say, for you, kind of. So you either put that paper aside or you tear it up or you shred it or you burn it, but don't burn the house, okay? And then this other one, their finances, there's a loan, there's the, this child, bedwetty, sleep problems, uh, language uh, difficulties, relationship issues, separation, and the rest. Put them down and then find out this one's can I, which one can I solve by myself? Which one do I need information and where can I get that information from? Where, who do I, do I need people or a person to talk to? And then you create a strategy. And if one of those strategies or the way forward is talking to a counselor, please look out. We are there and we are ready to help. You don't have to stick to one. You, but the best thing you can do is taking that first step to take care of your mental health. So, ladies and gentlemen, for today, it's from me to you is life is tough, but just give yourself one big, big, big hug and then try as much as possible to figure this life out because nobody has it sorted. Mm -mm. Nobody, but you can figure out one thing at a time. And by the time you're going to bed, at least this a sigh of relief. Okay. So from me to you. Mwah. Now, Panda Asana, thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for sharing. And I'll see you in the next video soon, I believe, in the coming week. Okay? Let's keep it consistent. <laughs> so, see you soon. And, um, yeah, take care of your mental health. Nobody has it all figured out. But you can figure it out one thing at a time. Okay? Bye-bye. See ya.